Hey, morning guys in the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. Just a quick point and shoot today, and we're gonna cover the True SDX. I did two videos recently. One this weekend was on a field exercise where I incorporated some concealment for the first time into my operating. And then I did a quick live stream on why I like that radio and how I use it, because it is not a replacement for everything I do, but it has a ton of value. Now I purchased mine back in June of last year and bought it primarily to travel to Huntsville, Alabama. Now I did not want to have any type of bias going into the review, so I did not read the manual and I didn't watch any videos. I accidentally threw away my serial number and I thought I was out of luck and stuck on uh, the version of the firmware, which works fine for everything that I've done so far. A couple people said, hey, why don't you contact Manuel? There should be a process for it. And yep, there was. He got back to me right away. So I want to share with you a few things that I'm doing that will touch on the off-grid, offline nature of everything I do. And this is a great example. So number one, he pointed me at the True SDX beta site. In my case, I did not know my serial number. So I put all zeros here and created a custom firmware that I had to flash onto my True SDX over here. I did that successfully this morning and uh, even went through the process of creating a much needed uh, draft of the field card that I'll be sharing with the Buy Me A Coffee guys. Thanks for your support. Uh, it'll have even spot for you to put your serial number as well as some of the other settings that I have used and are known to work along with some other uh, quick operating pieces here. So really cool. Now that I've got the upgraded firmware, it actually shows my call sign and I may even take the time now to integrate uh, first class support into MCOM tools. So that's what we're looking at. And uh, this is a custom paint job I did. I wasn't sure if this device was gonna work for me. So the first thing I did was take everything apart and just hit it with two colors that I've uh, covered before with spray paint uh, way back when. All right, so went here and then did not or was not familiar with the firmware process. So I went through and consulted this guy here. But what I really like to do is for my off-grid, offline use, I do like to create very simple files. This is something that I'm gonna host or actually is already hosted on my offline bulletin board system. And I called it how to dash true SDX firmware dash and then the date at which it was last updated. And it's a very small plain text file. And this is very deliberate. It's easy to read, it's small, and it can be distributed over radio. So I have a before starting section, what to download, and uh, my process for updating the firmware, which are drawn from this wonderful manual. Uh, mine is just a bit more concise. So that's the whole thing right there, not terribly long. But for my off-grid, offline use, I like to store everything together. So these are stored and backed up. I even keep it on my EDC USB drive. So you can see there I've got the two installers for the flashing software, the ones that start with AVR. I have the driver, that's the one that starts with ch and ends in .exe, and then I have the file that I just showed you, and then I have both uh, firmwares. The first one, which was the all zeros, uh, so I could obtain my serial after the fact, and then I ran it again and got my uh, firmware that has my serial. And that my serial.txt, that is my actual serial number for my future reference. And uh, I'll put a link down below to this guy here but uh, I'm really liking these uh, SSK drives. They're really quite cool. And it's a dual port. One is USB-C on one side, USB-A on the other. And this is my jump drive. So I do something called sneaker netting a lot. I copied over these files to this USB key. And then uh, sadly, I, yeah, I had to run Windows. So I copied it over to my Windows machine to do the install. So the other thing I want to make sure that I'm doing is... Uh, I want everything to have purpose and value. So the uh, BTEC UV Pro is uh, very much my everyday carrier radio. And for example, we'll connect now to the BBS. So anybody that can access me via HF using VARA or anybody local in the Phoenix area can go ahead and access the BBS. Again, I owe you guys a video. We'll type in files and we should see a listing here uh, within a second. And you can see now I'm, we're starting to build up the list of files. So this is accessed over radio only. And you can see right there, we've got the how to true SDX and it's fairly small in size. 
and we could type in yap to download it or use the read command. So long story short, this guy uh, now has everything I need in terms of the latest and greatest. I look forward to experimenting with the USB. Uh, it fits nicely in the six x six admin pouch. I primarily use it for digital modes. Works great with Vara HF. Works great with 300 baud packet. Works great with JSA call. So anyways guys, just wanna share with you my process on how I do things. I do not trust the internet, so I feel very comfortable having all of these artifacts with me. Do not need to go online. I have my own documentation that I have vetted and will share with my group. And uh, I'll send all this stuff across to the Buy Me A Coffee folks on the next post as a thank you for your support. Anyways, I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared.